Hello, my name is Mr. Levyu. Welcome to my channel. So happy to see you here today. So today we are going to learn some more programming. Yippee! So let's go. If you have multiple objects on your front panel or block diagram, you can use this trick to select them or add them to your already select selected items. So if you press shift and then click this item is selected then you this item is selected and if you have already two items selected suppose this and this and you shift and then click left click then the third one is selected and added to the previous selection So if you want to fine tune your selection and placement, you can use the arrow keys. The arrow keys, which I am pressing now, move controls and objects by one pixel at a time, which lets you fine tune your placement of objects on the front panel or block diagram. So if you are in a little more hurry, you can use shift and arrow key combination to move controls and objects several pixels at a time, both on block diagram and on front panel. So if you have several objects selected and you press shift then click and then start dragging you will see that you can only drag in one direction even if you try as you can see the mouse pointer I'm trying to move them in circle but they are only moving in, hori uh, in horizontal direction. Let's again they are already selected press shift click and then move them in vertical direction now I cannot move them in horizontal direction even if the mouse is directing these objects to move so you can use this trick for single direction movements so if you have a stack of objects and they are lying on top of each other then you can move the selected object in front of others by pressing control and K it moves the selected object in front of the other objects if you want to make this front object press control select it and press control K and K again to bring it to the top so control J is the reverse of control K if you want to move a selected object 
one step lower in the stack then you can select the object that's placed on on top of an object another object and press control J it will move behind the objects So if an object lies several steps down in a stack, for example, this list box lies two steps behind the array and the string, then you can select that object that lies behind, press Ctrl, Shift and K. It will bring it to the top of all other objects. So if an object lies on top of other objects like this list box lies on top of an array and a string object you can select the object press ctrl shift and j that selected object is now at the back total back of the selected stack. To make copy of an object, select the object, click, press control and the plus icon appears on your mouse. This means that the lab is in now copy mode. Just drag it and leave the object in the new location and the copy is made. To create a copy by control dragging and moving it in a particular direction, press control shift click on the object and now drag. As you can see I am moving the mouse in the horizontal direction but the object is moving in the vertical direction. Likewise if I control shift click and then drag it's moving in the horizontal direction but even if I move the mouse in the vertical direction the, the object does not move in that direction though the copy is still made. If you resize objects as you can see they move in in these direction that you are resizing but if you press shift and then you resize then those objects maintain their aspect ratio whatever aspect ratio was there and you can see a diagonal wire diagonal indicator showing you that aspect ratio is being maintained. So if you resize structures they resize in whatever direction you are dragging them in but if you press control and then you de uh, uh, drag them they maintain they grow around their central location, the central point. So if you press control and shift and then you resize objects they not only maintain their central they grow around their central position but also maintain the aspect ratio
congestion is a common problem in lab view you run out of space quite frequently so suppose we run out of space between these two controls to increase the space between them so that we can write more code you can press control and then drag in the direction that you want the space to be created likewise on the front panel suppose we need more space between these two controls press control and then drag in the direction that you want the space to be created So if you want to reduce the space between objects, for example, we want to reduce the vertical space, then press Control, Alt, and then drag in the direction you want the space to reduce. Likewise, on the block diagram, if you want to reduce the horizontal space, press Control, Alt, and then drag in the direction you want the space to reduce between the objects. To select all objects present on your block diagram, press Ctrl A or all objects present on your front panel, press Ctrl A. suppose you performed some alignment on objects let's select these two and align their tops now suppose you want to perform the same on some other object so you select some other objects without going to the menu you press ctrl shift and a the last alignment operation is performed suppose you aligned the rights of these two objects it's now in memory and now you select some other objects and you just pr press Control, Shift, and A. The rights, right borders are now aligned. The last operation is kept in memory and is recalled by using Control, Shift, and A. So suppose you perform a distribution action on some objects for example let's say vertical compress so if you want to perform the same operation on some other objects but without going to the menu item you can use the control D shortcut likewise if the objects were horizontally compressed and you select some objects and then press Ctrl D the same operation is performed if you double click on an empty space on the block diagram a free label is placed there for you to use the same happens on the front panel as well. Empty space, double click. You can place the comment there. But for that to work, it is necessary that automatic tool selection be enabled. That is, this LED should be turned on. Otherwise, it will not work. So if you have, for example, case structures with lots of cases, you can press control and then move your mouse wheel. It will help you scroll through the cases. 
Likewise, if you have stacked, if you have stacked sequence structure, and you use either you can go through the different cases using this uh, drop down or you can just press control and then use your mouse wheel to go through all the cases this also works on event structures so when you draw selection rectangles normally and some structure for example overlaps with the selection that that structure is which is partially uh, in uh, inside the selection rectangle does not get selected as you can see here but if you draw selection rectangle and you press spacebar then the partial partially overlapped structures are are also selected as you can see now so spacebar governs the selection rectangle behavior so by default these labels snap to predefined positions around the controls to override that you can press spacebar and then drag in that case you can drag to any position you like this overrides the um, preset alignment positions so to make the block diagram tidier uh, you can use a shortcut which is control u the control u reroutes all existing wires and rearranges objects on the block diagram automatically <laughs> 